In this video, we're going to show you how to create pages and navigation in Weebly. First, you need to go to education.weebly.com to log in. So I'm going to use my own ID and password to log in here. So Weebly is going to ask you to add a site. So I'm going to add a site. First, Weebly is going to ask you to choose a theme. So you can pick your favorite theme here. Later on, you can change it, but for now, I'm going to pick, uh, let's say, this one. So I'm going to choose. Then we are going to ask you to choose website domain. So to start, uh, you want to have a free website domain, so you don't have to pay. So you can pick the first one. Uh, depends on your topic. For instance, I'm going to do an intro to composition 101. It says available, so I'm going to pick this one, intro to composition 101. Then I click on continue. So you, you just created your site. So right now you are in the construction site of Weebly. Notice inside of Weebly, inside your course, you have five main tabs on the top build pages theme store and setting build of course is for you to build put elements on your site on your pages pages allows you to p create different pages for your website so we're gonna spend a lot of time here on pages so themes is for you to choose your style your font style your theme your overall theme so you can pick your color, pick your fonts. Store tab is mainly uh, not relevant to this course because this tab is mainly for business owners. If you want to open store, online store, uh, start a business, that's the tab you need to use. So settings is for general settings. You can set up your course. So like I said, we're mainly going to focus on build and the pages the two tabs. So let's go to pages and set up all the pages and the navigations. So on the pages you have a plus sign here. By default you have a home button here. So I'm going to add pages. So 99% of the time you need to add a standard page. So I'm going to name the page name. So let's say I'm going to name it course syllabus. Right? After I'm done typing, I click on save. So I have a course syllabus uh, button here. Then add another one. And uh, I'm going to name it course information. Right? I'm going to continue to do some pages. Uh, instructor bio, and so on and so forth. So afterwards, you can organize your pages. For instance, uh, course information is, uh, you can you can think of course information as a, a, a top level uh, button. So instructor bio is underneath course information. So what you got to do is you just drag this, make it indent underneath course info. So this way, co uh, instructor bio is underneath course information. So, so on and so forth, you can arrange your buttons here in a way that eventually your course is going to look like something like this. This is the EDIT 650. Notice the, 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 the layout of all the tabs or buttons. You have home page, preface, and course information. Underneath course information, you have so many little buttons, subtitles. And uh, you have modules. Those are the content. So all the content are going to be here. So you have all the sub uh, topic, 1.1 to 1 1.5. Notice they are indented in a way that it is organized so that uh, your course is going to look very neat and organized.